taking it slow. The city of Milwaukee is strongly considering lowering the speed limits in residential neighborhoods. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne is live in a neighborhood near Marquette University High School with exactly what the new limit could be. And Ted and Mary, these signs here in this neighborhood could soon change from 25 to 20 miles an hour. There's hope that even a slight decrease will save lives. Some neighborhood groups say it's more about education than enforcement. Why are you so passionate about this? Because <laughs> you don't want to know how many neighbors have been in crashes. Steve O'Connell can stand in his front yard. T-bone. Never saw the car. And point to friends in just about every house. Ended up literally up against that bank over there. Each one impacted by reckless driving. He blew that red light. Never slowed down. That's why he's encouraged by a city proposal that would drop the residential speed limit from 25 miles an hour to 20. Steve, a lot of people are going to say people aren't paying attention to road signs now. Why would they do so if it was just 20 miles an hour? This has to be a change in our mindset. He wants the rules of the road to be taught as early as fourth grade, but right now he's focused on reducing the speed limit. We do know that higher speeds uh, lead to more severe injuries or death when a crash does occur. Milwaukee's Department of Public Works says it's part of Vision Zero, a plan announced last week to eliminate all traffic deaths within the next 15 years. ARPA funds will pay for it. Uh, we'd also have a transportation firm looking at some of our busier streets, streets like uh, Capitol Drive or Brady Street or uh, historic Mitchell Street to see what is the most appropriate speed on some of our, our busier streets. Since it launched in February of last year, Milwaukee's Traffic Safety Unit has issued more than 14,000 speeding tickets. O'Connell says that's good, but real change starts at home. We ourselves have to start policing our family members. And DPW leaders stress awareness is likely the biggest component of this campaign. The DPW says the Milwaukee Common Council will still need to sign off on this before it becomes a reality. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Yeah, we'll keep updating that. All right, Brett, thank you.